I modded GTA 5 into a zombie apocalypse because Rockstar wouldn't do for us, and I decided to see if I could survive for a week. This is part one, and this is how it went. We start off at our multi-million dollar mansion where we have some bad memories, seeing how our girlfriend was mauled by a zombie to death. So Franklin decided to leave and see if he can make it on the streets. Always fill up your gas tank because unfortunately, we forgot to fill it up before the zombie apocalypse hit, so now we gotta go look for some gas. The streets were crowded, so we parkoured over some zombies and continued forward. Everything was going pretty smooth. The zombie apocalypse didn't seem that bad until you see one of the fast ones sprinting towards you. So you ran through another horde, spotted a car, but unfortunately it was broke. A few hours later, we had to get out the street because there was a huge horde in front of us. Unfortunately, this led us to a dead end and the horde followed us in. We almost got killed right off the get go, but we made it through. Back on the streets, we were still looking for a gas station, so we asked for some directions, but we had no luck. We asked her for help, but she was no help at all. We asked for directions once again, but we didn't get any results. So we kept on trucking, and the zombie came running out out of nowhere. Thankfully, he just gave us a polite push. We noticed a sound in the distance, as well as some gunshots. We knew these guys weren't friendly, so we got the jump on one of them, grabbed his rifle, and took a few of his friends out as well. I landed on my bad leg, fell over, but thankfully the enemy was as accurate as a stormtrooper, so we got our shot in. We went back to the crate, and we got a nice little stockpile of weapons, and we had ourselves a new ride or so we thought. It seemed that a stray bullet had hit the gas tank. We were out of luck once again, or so we thought. One of the dudes had an escape bike in the back. It had gas and was in mint condition, so we took it and cruised the beach road. We ended up finding the gas station, picked up the jerry can, filled our bike up with gas, and by that point, we were starving. So we checked the convenience store to see if the shelves were stocked, and thank goodness, we have food for days. We stocked up, but we made too much noise, so the zombies started to come in, so we had to get out of there quick right and in a hurry. Back on the bike we went to try and find somewhere safe to stay for the night. We ended up finding a construction building that looked pretty safe, so we rode up to the top and decided to set up base here for the night. Plus the view was pretty gorgeous. So we decided to blockade the staircase that we rode up just in case any zombies would follow us up here. But before that, we decided to eat and drink. And by that time, zombies had already made their way inside. So we quickly dispatched of them and began building our wall. There were some enemies on the highway that were making a whole bunch of noise, so we had to take them out and stop them from attracting zombies. We stood a moment to enjoy the sunset, and then laid our head down until the next morning. The next morning, we hopped on the bike and jetted down the freeway. The breeze on the face felt oh so good. We had heard some friendly survivors on the radio that we found on the bike, so we decided to go and see if they needed any help. We went through the windy residential roads and found the survivors. Looks like they were fending off an incoming horde. So of course we lent our assistance. I told Cassandra there was too many of them and told her to come with me so I can refill my car with gas and come back and rescue everybody else. She agreed. We went as fast as we could back to Franklin's house, winded through zombies, parked our bike in the garage just in case we needed it in the future, and filled our car with that gas. We hopped in the whip Cassandra got into, and we went back to see if we could make it back in time to save them. The streets were absolutely packed with zombies, but it seems we made it in time. I had to help Luis out, he almost got his socks rocked, but we hopped back in the whip just in the nick of time. So we got out of the hot zone, but it seemed somebody was following us. They head on collided with us, but we tried to make our escape. Now these guys wouldn't stop following us, so we had no choice but to face them head on. We killed the aggressors, but not without our own sacrifice. Rest in peace, Cassandra. We tried getting back in the whip, but it was in pretty bad condition. We had a blown out tire, so we had no choice but to get out and try to get some supplies from the nearby supply drop. Thankfully, we had the high ground, so we quickly sniped some hostiles from above. We snagged some ammo and extra guns, the supply crate for a nice drop of weapons, accidentally shot a zombie with a stun gun, then we had to clear the horde of zombies surrounding the jeep. Thankfully, nobody shot the gas tank, so we were able to drive away smooth until somebody sideswiped us. We made our way up the hill and then down the road of the residential area, but we knew we had to handle these guys, otherwise they'd follow us. So we hit him in the head with a new, and somehow in the process, we lost Luis. Rest in peace, Luis. We decided to try and recollect ourselves from our losses and find somewhere a little bit secluded to wind down and have some lunch. We found a nice little gated house, parked the Jeep, and went in the backyard. Checked out the view for a little bit to remind us that we're still human, and then we had some water and processed food. 
Feeling nice and refreshed, we were off once again. We always seem to get caught because hostiles in an ambulance decided to run us down. We hit it with a Uno reverse and then they hit it with a skip your turn. Opened up the back doors and started firing. We somehow managed to get around, but these guys were relentless. They pinned us down on the block, but we quickly got out and blasted them to bits. Mira didn't make it. Rest in peace, Mira. Lost, but never forgotten. The zombies were coming in hard, so there was no time to grieve. We had to get out of there. Now, we were pretty beat up, so we passed that out the wheel, crashed into a wall, and barely woke up in time to kill this zombie coming at us. But survive, we did. We made our way down the streets to look for somewhere nice and secluded to rest up a bit. We ended up finding a nice little cove that would offer some protection from the elements, as well as warn us if a zombie tried to get in since it would splash in the water. We decided to nap here, and thankfully, the detection system worked. The zombie was coming in and splashed into the water, which woke us up just in time. It was nighttime now and more dangerous than ever, so we had to get out of here before we got trapped inside. Now we had a repair kit and there was a car on the streets, so we gave it a shot and tried to repair it. Unfortunately, the zombies heard the gunshots, so we couldn't get the car repaired in time. We had to flee the streets and look, for another solution. I told you these streets were dangerous at night. We got knocked over by an angry Karen in the back, but thankfully she was just screaming at us, so we were able to take her out. We decided to get off the street and take some alleys to see if it was a little safer. It wasn't. We booked it up the hill, taking care of two zombies on the back, but we were chased up into the hills. Oddly enough, were a few other survivors as well, and the zombies were coming at them hard. I tried to save one of them from being eaten alive, which thankfully was successful, but now they were coming for me. So I had to hit a few headshots, a bit of boom, a bit of pow, and now it was me and the new guy. Now since I had the new guy, I had somebody to watch my back as I tried to repair this car. So I went in for round two. The new guy watched my back as I repaired the car. It worked, so we hopped in, got scraped up a little down the road, but escaped the neighborhood. Everything was on the up and up until 